Hey you, thank you for tuning in. Today we are reviewing and trying out all of the products that came in the February Base Boxy Charm Box and the Premium Box. And we're doing a bit of a mukbang in the process and we are getting started right now. Welcome back guys and if you are new here my name is Brittany and this is the channel for all things beautiful and beauty related to all of my homebodies out there. Hit the subscribe button below and let's get into this video. I've got my boxy charm, the regular base box and of course the premium box. Y'all know I had to get the spicy chicken sandwich. I don't even know why there's a debate between this and Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I always get the hiccups when I drink too fast. The first thing we're gonna use today is this 24K Gold Foil Moisturizer from Fossia. This was in the premium box. I actually left the house today bare face. I need to go in with the facial moisturizer. Look at this. Packaging is really pretty. So I'm gonna, ooh, it's cold. <gasps> mm. Look at the gold flakes. You see that? Wow. I don't need too much. Let me take some down my neck. Wow. It's pretty good to know that this only takes very, very little because a little goes a long way. It retails at $100, guys. This is so moisturizing. <gasps> so nice. I feel like my face is going to be too moisturized for my look today. I prefer my moisturizer on early before I go in with my makeup and like let it get all dried down because I don't like my face feeling too slick before I start going in with my makeup products because I feel like it's just gonna make me oily faster. It feels really nice. It feels like a really nice primer. Kind of reminiscent of the Milk Hydro Grip except it doesn't get sticky. Or actually it is a little tacky. Not as tacky as the Milk Hydro Grip. $100. I definitely wouldn't pay $100 for the Tarte Base Tape Hydrating Primer. I just don't want it to look like it's been overly hydrated because I get so oily. I don't need that extra shine. But I'm going to try this. I'm gonna take, oh, it's a little watery. I'm going to take it in my T-zone. And I'm going to just go ahead and take it all over the rest of the face. So this one retails for $30 and it was a part of the premium box as well. So really nice, like how that feels. I'm gonna use this Luxie Complete Sponge Set. This one actually came in my base box and this one actually retails for $40. I like Luxie's brushes, never tried any of their sponges. And I'm just gonna take their small one to blend out this, this color corrector. So of course I powdered and I went in with the liquid powder as well. Now I'm gonna go in with the Becca Ultimate Coverage. This is the 24 hour foundation and mine is in 24H Sienna. I'm gonna use one of the other Luxie sponges to apply. And I haven't been color matched for this foundation. They didn't send any samples. They just sent a little quiz asking me which color I would like. And this was the closest to my shade that they were offering in the box. This will be my first time trying it. I did go into Ulta just to kind of look at the full line of this, but I didn't swatch any of the product. But this color Sienna did look to be the closest shade that they had to my skin tone. So I'm hoping that this one works out. It takes a little bit just to pump it because it's new. This particular sponge is a lot more firm than the white one that I used. It says it's a water and transfer resistant wear with a breathable natural finish. I'm really partial to the Beauty Blender sponge. I have to be honest, I'm not a fan of this sponge. I do, however, like the quality of the small sponge. Softer, 
less firm. It would be a good sponge to blend out your concealer. This one, I'm not really liking it. I just feel like, like I'm getting carpet tunnel using this thing. So the foundation looks okay. I do have a bit of a breakout there. But if you're not distracted by that breakout, the finish looks pretty decent. I'm gonna be testing it out because I'm going out and I'm leaving in about 50 minutes. Oh, I gotta take another bite of this chicken sandwich. I'm so hungry, guys. Mm. 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 Oh, good. Mm. I'm getting ready to go out to dinner, but we're going out to eat sushi. And I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I have to eat like three or four rolls just to get full. And then I feel like I'm greedy. Everybody else is only getting one or two rolls, but it's like sushi just isn't enough to fill me up. Like I gotta have a lot of it. So it's kind of okay that I'm eating this chicken sandwich just before I go. So I won't be really hungry. Like I can get one or two rolls and be fine. So I'm back and I slapped on concealer and all of that. I am gonna blend everything out in a minute, but I wanna go ahead and slap on an eye look using this Bacante palette by Carity. This came in the Boxy Premium and this is a $29 palette. I love everything about this palette. I'm a neutral warm tone girl and this palette has it all. I'm gonna take AISH, a light brownish, really pretty beautiful color. Slap that into my transition. This in my crease. I'm going in with this shade right here, this beautiful passion shade. Then I'm gonna take this deep brown here, bittersweet, and I'm going to put that in the outer V. Such a pretty color. I'm gonna take this sass color and pop that into my inner corner. There's a little bit of this matte color. It's a really pretty matte. I'm gonna use this Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. It came in the Boxy Premium. It retails for $40. Hourglass is very high end. Let's take a look at her. This is the blush that it is. And it's a bit light for my liking. It adds a little flush to the face blush now I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup using the glow recipe watermelon ultra fine mist I got this in the boxy premium and it retails for $28 and I actually had this one already I bought this in Sephora you guys might have saw me haul it so I'm actually just gonna use mine but I do have an extra one this is the one that came in the box I'm gonna give this one away. It smells really nice, by the way. Comment down below, what's your favorite thing about my channel? Mmm, guys, this smells so good. And I love the spray on it. You see the spray? Oh, so good. Oh, I love it. I love it. Like, I would keep this one as a backup, but I like to share with you guys, and I haven't done a giveaway in a while, so comment down below so you can get the chance to win this one. I have this Facial Radiance Pads. These came in my regular box, and these are by First Aid Beauty. They retail for $16. They have lactic and glycolic acids to exfoliate, tone, and brighten all types of skin tones. They smooth the skin's texture and provide the perfect canvas for makeup. So, you know what I'm gonna use them for right now? because I need to wipe off my lips. I'm gonna use them for makeup remover. There are these little thin pads. Oh no, this is one that's just pretty thick. They're really soft. They're like textured. Mmm. Oh yeah, these are really nice. Mmm, I like this. Really, really nice. Oh, I'm so hungry, guys. I literally took three bites of my sandwich. 
Oh, that's so good. Woo. I'm gonna go in with the lip and they sent this Queen Matte Liquid Lip Satin. It retails for $17. It is in the color Monroe. A little bit too red for my liking. I'm not really a red lipstick kind of person. I'm just gonna use it for an ombre effect paired with one of my Milani. Mm, what are we thinking? I'm thinking I want to do this color right here, Obsessed, because I love this color. It's so pretty as like a lip liner. I'm just going to take a little bit of this on the inside. And this is going to be the look, guys. They did send two other products. This one came in the base boxes, the Amica Supernova Moisture and Shine Cream. I'm assuming this is for hair. Yes, this is a leave-in cream. You guys know I love leave-ins for the hair. I never use them in the cream form, though. They're a little bit too thick for my hair. I always put them in a spray bottle and water them down and then spray that all over my locks. So that is definitely how I will use this one. And this is $25 for 3.3 fluid ounces and then they also sent chorus fig body butter this one came in the premium box and it retails for $32 for 7.95 fluid ounces I'm gonna go ahead and try this one let's see how it smells mmm that smells nice if you like that fig scent. I love how fig tastes. I haven't really been up on the fig scent, but it doesn't smell bad. Like, I like it. Okay, you guys, so it is 9.43, and I left here about 6.15-ish. My dinner reservations was at 7, and this is what the foundation is looking like. I think it looks good, guys. And just FYI, I did use the Farsali liquid powder in my nose. I concentrated in my nose before I went in with the powder and then went over it with the foundation. I didn't mix the liquid powder in with the Becca foundation, but I did concentrate that Farsali on my nose and you can see there's no oils, guys. It's been three going on four hours. So I really do like this Becca foundation. I am so excited to get this in the Boxy Charm box because they just started complexion products. First they sent the Pretty Vulgar Concealer and now they have sent a foundation. So I'm really excited about all the things that Boxy Charm is bringing. Next month is a Boxy Luxe month and we are getting a boxy premium that is going to have all Fenty products in it. I am so excited about that. So stay tuned for next month's video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it and that you found a review on any of these products helpful. If so, give this video a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, be your own kind of beautiful.